you've loved good music for much of your life, and I understand you even sang on the radio when you were only four years old. Can you tell me about that experience? Well, I barely, barely remember that. Uh, I was four years old, and uh, for some reason, or by some method, why, uh, I was invited to sing on KOVO, on some radio show, and so mother and dad took me down to the studio. I think it was on Center Street at the time. And I sang, God Bless America. And I remember the announcer saying, and Melvin, uh, who is your accompanist? And mother tells me that I said, who's my what? <laughs> <laughs> who, who is going to play the piano for you? Oh, my mother. <laughs> and you learned a new word in the process. I learned a new word. <laughs> But I, I do remember that vaguely, and it was, it was kind of fun. And uh, you, cl- uh, music was a part of your life in, in, when you were very young. Oh, piano, yes. right? You, you yes. took piano lessons from your mom? Yes. Uh-huh. Not, not formally and not for a, a long period of time. But yes, early on, she taught me to play the piano. And did you enjoy that? Yes, until it got to the point where I'd have to practice to play anything well. And then it ceased to be as much fun. It was a little more work. So I became more interested in sandlot baseball. <laughs> and I think you told me that uh, you had complained to your mother that piano was for girls or something like well, that. Well, uh, all of her piano students were uh, little girls between 5 and 15 years of age. And uh, I had a difficult time maintaining a lot of interest in practicing and said to her one day, piano, Mother, piano is for girls. Well, she led into me like I've never forgotten, indicating Chopin, Liszt, Beethoven, Bach, on and on and on. These are men, Melvin. The piano is for men. Well, (laughs) I blushed a little, and I've never quite recovered from that shock, (laughs) but she was right. What's your Friday favorite today? I would have to say the uh, Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. Why that piece? Oh, it's extremely popular. It's very accessible. It's exciting. It's very challenging. Uh, I have enjoyed in the past listening to this number, watching the score we obtained from the library. And that's a very interesting way to listen to good music, is to read the score as you're listening. I know it's one of the most popular things in the music world and is very often played, but I enjoyed it immensely. For Friday Favorites, I'm Melvin Ward from Salt Lake City. And this is Tchaikovsky's Violin Concerto.